alone at the Sonic movie. God, you're pathetic. Hi. Welcome to my epic little YouTuber review of, you guessed it, the Sonic movie. <laughs> I have to say, I'm a little disappointed with it. Which, I know what you're saying, it's a kid's movie, you don't expect much. I was hoping for a little more in certain other areas, but in certain areas, it kind of ex exceeded my expectations, DMC5 style. And I'll explain what I mean as I go along. This won't be too long, just maybe like five minutes or so. But I'll just hit over like some of the key stuff and then just say what I overall thought. <clears throat> I, so it's uh, Sonic goes to real world, whatever. It doesn't matter, right? He's there, he's alone for like years and years. And then he he makes a mistake and that causes like the government to come after him, right? And the government calls upon Jim Carrey, Dr. Robotnik, right? And he almost gets him, but oh, <laughs> but Sonic finds Tom, is that his name? Cyclops, let's call him Cyclops, because I I'm pretty sure that's the same guy who played as Cyclops. But he finds Cyclops, which is a cop, boring city, boring whatever, wants to go somewhere else. San Francisco or something. So, he finds him and he helps Sonic. And they escape, have to escape Robotnik. And then they start their little road trip, right? It all, it's all normal type stuff, right? Then things get a little off. Like, like this movie's rated PG, right? And a lot of movies are, kids' movies are rated PG because they fart or something in the movie. Which that happens in this movie, but whatever. Yeah, Sonic rips ass, whatever. They put these movies, they, they might say the word crap or something, and boom, PG rating. Not, not suitable for all audiences. Parental guidance suggested. Stupid. And that doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, but this movie, it uses it kind of effectively. And, and I'll explain what I mean. There's a lot of product placement in this movie, which is really off. Like, you got your fucking Fitbits and Olive Gardens, which I get it, it's egregious, but at least with, like, Man of Steel or something, it's just Superman picking up a, quickly, picking up a Pepsi truck or something, and just throwing it, and that's it, that's all you see for, like, a second. And hear entire scenes and jokes have it in it. Which which is not my cup of tea, honestly. But during this road trip, uh, yeah, you, in the trailer you see the bar scene. You know what that could possibly be about. Like they piss people off and blah, blah, blah. And they have to, they have to escape or whatever. But after that, uh, uh, Cyclops needs to go to a mall for something, I forget. And then, God, Sonic goes into a Spencer's. I know, right? The other week, I went to a mall for like the first time in my life, which <laughs> I live in like bumfuck nowhere, which I don't get to do anything much but uh, I went to like a like a Hot Topic and a Spencer's that were next to each other first time I ever went that's where I got this hat at at a Hot Topic this was the only thing in there that I was willing to put on my body and wear without wanting to die but then I went into a Spencer's and I'm like 
dildos over there. There's ass over there. there. The word fuck is over there. Over here, you don't get that. Unless you look really, really closely, maybe you'll possibly find something like that, right? Sonic goes into his Spencer's. Cyclops sees it off the corner of his eye. He has to go in there and get him out. Now, you don't see anything. Like, he, there's this shot where Sonic is just looking at the posters. You, you know those posters, right? With, with, you don't see nipples on those posters or any pussy. <laughs> but, but you see... But you see photoshopped ass, right? <laughs> On display, cheeseburger, whatever, weed, dude, weed, lamau. That's all you, you see on those posters, right? That you flip through them. When I'm flipping through them, I'm like, but I'm not used to this. I am not used to this. This is a weird feeling. I feel embarrassed to be in here. I'm getting out. Right? There's like BSM gear and shit in there. It's weird. Never experienced it. But you, you don't see any of that stuff. You don't see any shirts where that say, fuck you, bitch, or anything like that. You, you just see Spencer's. <laughs> then, Sonic, he, Sonic's flipping through the posters, but you don't see anything, but you know what he's looking at, right? He comes in and gets them out. Move on. That's the joke scene. Uh, I th nah, whatever. Then, as they're continuing on their road trip to get to wherever they need to go, I forget. I don't care, really. Uh, uh, Robotnik attacks them with robots and shit. And so, so Sonic, like, destroys one thing. Then... You know, like, right before the movie came out for us in America, I think, sometimes you see cam reps of movies, and there was this one, like, GIF or web video that was floating around of Sonic flossing. It's out of context why he's flossing. Now, to you, it may seem like he's just doing it because he's an idiot, right? No. Knuckles shows up. And challenges him to a floss off. I'm not kidding. This is. I was. I didn't know what to think. Like they're just sitting there doing it, right? They're just whatever. They're just. Uh, uh. They're just doing that over and over again, and then they start doing other Fortnite dances. They start doing the Carlton. The, I'm like, they start dabbing. No. I, I was in complete disbelief. Knuckles just fucks off. He's like, yeah, kid, you got some skills. Fucks off. He was wearing his hat, though. The big cowboy hat, you know, from the OVA. I, I, I like that part. I, I thought it was a nice touch. So, as the movie goes on, they get to San Francisco, whatever. Um, Robotnik attacks again, I guess. Then, uh, as that whole climatic bullshit happens, this movie turned into a very different direction than I thought it was going to. Sonic dies. R He's, he fucking dies. Not even... I ruined it.